tip I'm going to show you how to use the high resolution TGA. This advanced technique will allow us to differentiate between different TGA steps in a very complex scan. In a standard TGA, in order to engage the resolution, typically we slow the heating rate, we reduce the sample size, we change the purgas or even we use hermetic pinhole pans. The most common is to slow the heating rate. The problem of that is that the, our experimental time will increase too much. If we are able to slow the heating rate only when really we have a weight loss, this will be the answer to that problem. To configure this experiment in our software is pretty easy. We only have to choose in the test high res, for example, dynamic. We will choose the heating rate that is typically bigger to go faster when we don't have any kind of transition. We choose the final temperature and also two values that are really very common for 4 and 1 in the resolution number and the sensitive value. With this configuration, we will make high resolution TGA experiments pretty easy. So. <coughs> Once the experiment is configured, we have only to go to the summary to introduce our sample name, our pan type, and also the data file name. And that's it. We are ready to start. So now, let's take a look at the results. This experiment shows the degradation of a high temperature degradation polymer. This is a standard experiment, not high resolution. In this standard TJ experiment, we can see that the heating rate is constant over all the experiment, 10 degrees per minute. This is the experiment of the same material, but in the higher resolution TGA. As you can see, the heating rate is not any more constant will decrease when we have the transitions. So that's the way we improve the resolution. I would like to show you an overlay of these two experiments. The green curve is the standard TDGA and the blue one the high resolution TDGA. As you can see in the standard TDGA we cannot differentiate between the two processes, the two degradation processes that are present in the sample. But with the high resolution TGA, it is easy to see that we have two degradation processes and it is possible also to quantify them. All the mathematical equations that are behind TGA high resolution were developed almost 40 years ago. Nevertheless, only TA instruments can really offer high-resolution TGA.